me, Miss Booksy. Make sure you click that subscribe button so that you never miss any of my amazing adventures. Can't wait to see you soon for more story time. Hi everyone, Miss Booksy here with a brand new story time at Cool School. Today we're reading a fun new story starring Cinderella and the Little Mermaid. This one is called The Underwater Ball. Ooh, are you ready? <laughs> Wiggle, snap, story time. Once upon a very good time, Cinderella was hanging out on the beach with one of her princess besties, the Little Mermaid. Oh, I just love Paradise Beach. Have you ever seen water so blue or sand so glittery and soft? The water is always the perfect temperature. Not too warm, not too cold. To quote my girl Goldilocks, it's just right. And the sand is perfect for royal sandcastle building. Look! Wow, that looks just like your palace. Watch this. Whoa! I had a little help. Nothing wrong with a little magic, honey. Oh, look! A rainbow! <laughs> wow! And a dolphin! Yay! Oh, hey! It's Dolph! Hey, guys! Watch this! Woohoo! I'm gonna do that at the underwater ball! Probably gonna get first place in the dance contest. Underwater ball? I guess my invitation got lost in the mail. What? OMG whiz! Of course you're invited! How would I not invite my bestie? Cindy, it's going to be the best ball you ever went to, and I know that's like your thing! Looks like everyone was enjoying themselves on Paradise Beach! But on another shore nearby... Recognize them? Cinderella's old stepsisters and stepmother, Unga and Gritzel, hadn't been up to much good since their old days of being mean to Cinderella. Oh, and look! That's the sea witch. She was back at it and just being a nasty old crumb, casting wicked spells and turning people into sea urchins. Boy, what a gang. Look at them, cavorting, clapping, having a good time. Ugh. Why can't we have a good time? We are having a good time. We're at the beach, aren't we? I wouldn't exactly call Misery Cove a beach. Yeah, the sea is full of jellyfish. Um, that's not a jellyfish, that's a diaper. Exactly! All the garbage from the dump flows into the water! And there's no sand, just jagged rocks and slippery marbles. And it's always raining! It's awful! No one ever invites us to royal balls anymore. Where are we supposed to meet princes? I want to be a princess! These two are always whining! Can you turn them into urchins, please? You really want to go to that wretched underwater ball? Yes! I can get you in, but there's one catch. There's always a catch. Yeah, and the catch is, you must get me that wand. The fairy godmother's wand? Yes, I'm a powerful sea witch. But if I had the fairy godmother's wand, I have all the powers of the world, under the sea and on land. Uh-oh, she's starting to sound evil and scheming. Cue the maniacal laughter. <laughs> Wait, one question. What? It's an underwater ball. We can't swim. That's easy. I'll just turn you into mermaids. Really? You can do that? Yeah, and you'll meet some handsome sea princes, too. Sound good? I'm in. Where do I sign up? You gotta go stand in the water. I don't have my regular powers on the land. Ooh. It's so cold. Owie, I think I stepped on a crab. Mermaid spell, abracabra. Um. Can you try again? I think something went wrong. Oh, sorry. See, I really need that wand. Okay, mermaid spell, abracadabra. Wow. Look at me, I'm a beautiful mermaid. Look at this fin, isn't it neat? Wouldn't you say? Whoa, 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 hold on. My magic doesn't cover copyright infringement. Sing something else, Mariah. Oh, look at me, I'm a mermaid. La, 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 la. What about me? How am I supposed to escort my daughters to an underwater ball? Shouldn't I be a mermaid too? You give me that wand and I'll take care of you too, sweetheart. And just so that we're clear, what happens if I don't get you the wand? You'll be turned into a miserable little sea urchin. <laughs> ah, little seaweed stuck in the throat there. So the underwater ball was shaping up to be a pretty epic time. 
princesses, mean stepsister mermaids, sea witches, fairy godmothers, and a plot for grand theft larceny. Everyone was getting super excited for the underwater ball. Unga and Greetsel were practicing their mermaid dance moves. Ah! And Cinderella and the Little Mermaid were discussing their outfits and the general goings on of the underwater ball. How does one dance at an underwater ball? <laughs> Same as anywhere else, like this. Um, is this a dance battle? Because I'm ready. Hey, why didn't anyone invite me to the dance party? I've got moves. <laughs> uh, yep. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, that's good. <gasps> do the dolph. Oh, yeah. Do the dolph. Do the dolph. <sighs> okay, so what does one eat at an underwater ball? Well, cake doesn't work so well. It gets very soggy. And never serve shrimp cocktail. It makes the shrimp very upset. Noted. <laughs> so what does one wear at an underwater ball? <gasps> Glass flippers. Get it? Do you get it? Glass flippers. Forget it. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Fashion, fashion party, party montage, montage time. time! It's fashion montage time! If you're going to a ball, try on clothes. If you're going to a ball, do your hair. If you're going to a ball and you want to twirl around, make sure you pick a twirly twirly gown. Will it be this? Will it be that? I might even try on a hat. Ooh, flowy! <laughs> so angelic! So cute! Too casual! Purple, blue! Purple, blue, purple, and blue? OMG! I love it! It's perfect for the underwater ball! Now time to accessorize! Ooh! Too much? Ooh, fancy! Wait a minute, I don't need sunglasses for an underwater ball! I need goggles! Hello! Hello! Whoa! If you're going to a ball, choose some shoes. If you're going to a ball, choose some shoes. Whoa. Ooh, sparkly! I love it! You know what would make this like a million times more fun? What? Fairy godmother magic. Did someone say fairy godmother? Yay! <laughs> Trust me, this is the most fun way to get ready for a ball. What's a look you'd like to try, honey? Um, I guess I've always wanted to have rainbow hair. Done. Whoa. You look awesome. How about fairy wings? Oh, yeah. Yay. Meanwhile, someone was watching. Cinderella's stepmother was spying and scheming how to steal the fairy godmother's magic wand. She tried distracting the fairy godmother. Yoo-hoo. Over here. Did someone say something? I said maybe a gown made of diamonds? Oh, yes. I love that idea. She tried to take it while the fairy godmother dozed off for a minute. <sighs> Where were we? Pink mohawk? Yeah, I can do that. She even tried to go ninja style and swipe it. Voila! A unicorn horn, honey. So close. Finally, the stepmother dressed herself up like a maid and entered the room. Don't mind me. I'm just coming to tidy up a bit. Hi, uh, who are you? I'm, uh, I'm wa Wanda. I'm Wanda. I'm just here to steal. I, I, I mean to clean up a little. Hmm, you look so familiar. No, no, I don't think so. You don't know me. Okay. Got it. I've never held a magic wand before. I wonder if I could do some spells. Oh, no. Oh, this is very dangerous. I better get it to the sea witch ASAP. Should I just ask my fairy godmother to turn me into a mermaid for the night? Oh, that would be fun. We could be twinsies. Fairy godmother, I know you said I would be fine underwater with the breathing and all, but maybe it would be super fun to be a mermaid for the night. That does sound fun. Let me see what I can do. Now with a wave of my wand. What? My wand! It has to be here somewhere. You just had it. It's gone. I better go fly around and see if I can spot it. Uh. Oh, this is bad. This is very, very bad. If that wand gets into the wrong hands, we could be in very big trouble. 
Well, don't look at me. I don't even have hands. We have to find that wand. But it was too late. The wand had already gotten into the wrong hands, and she was ready to do some damage. Cue the maniacal laughter. <laughs> it was finally time for the underwater ball. Everyone was so excited. Well, almost everyone. Cinderella's stepsisters, Oonga and Gritzel, were certainly pumped. OMG, Gritzel, we've never looked better. We're like on fire. We're flaming hot like Cheetos. I can't wait to meet the sea princes. They're probably so handsome. And I bet they have amazing underwater palaces and like so much money. And Cinderella's stepmother was excited. She had given the sea witch her coveted fairy godmother wand and now her daughters would be married off to distinguished sea princes. That would make her royalty too. And of course the sea witch was very, extremely, totally super excited for the underwater ball. She would make a grand entrance as the most fearsome, powerful witch that the world had ever seen. <laughs> yes, she was still cackling maniacally and was mad with power. She hadn't even gotten around to attempting any new magic yet. The Little Mermaid, Dolph, and Cinderella were excited, but also a little nervous. Now that the fairy godmother's wand was missing, there was a damper on everything. What if someone bad has it and they ruin the party? They could do much worse than ruin the party. What if they turn me into a porpoise? That's your biggest fear? Aren't porpoises basically the same as dolphins? Ha! <laughs> they wish. Okay, well, anyway, I guess let's go and hope for the best. Yeah, as they say, keep calm and party on. The underwater ball was a smash. Everyone was there. Everyone except... Where is the sea witch? She's supposed to introduce us to our sea princes. Um, excuse me? Ew, what? Are you Unga? Yeah, who wants to know? I'm your date, Prince Puff or Fish. But you can just call me Puff. The sea witch arranged for us to meet. Hold on one moment. Is this guy serious? He's a puffer fish. Ritzel? Ah! Jellyfish! I'm your date. I'm Prince Bob. Prince Blob? Prince Bob! Would you like to dance? Ugh, fine. Whatever, let's dance, I guess. You are beautiful. Really? Yeah. You two are the most beautiful mermaids we've ever seen. And so graceful and kind and cool. Unga and Gritzel were not used to having anyone like them. They usually put their worst foot forward. Maybe now that they had fins, things were looking up. I kind of like these guys. Me too. They weren't the only ones having a good time. The Little Mermaid, Cinderella, and Dolph had almost forgotten about the whole fairy godmother wand fiasco. They were boogieing down when... Hear ye, hear ye. Please welcome the... The most powerful witch in the world. <laughs> That's right. In my hands, I have the power to control the entire world. Land and sea, bow down to me, my pathetic little servants. I am the queen of everything. Oh no! This is the worst! I was the almighty wicked sea witch, and now I hold all earthly power. For I have the fairy godmother's magic wand. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Go away, you little urchin. I'm busy taking over the world. You're my fairy godmother. I want a puppy. Go away. What are you doing? Are you holding your breath? I said I want a puppy and I want it now. Whose child is this? Please, take her away. As the evil queen of the world, I order you, take her away. Oof, tough break, huh? What do you want? Well, my wand for one thing. But since you have it, you may as well know your fairy godmother now. That comes with great responsibility. And power. 
Well, yes, the power to do good. Do what now? Do good. Fairy godmothers use their powers to help a child in need, like I did with Cinderella. So this is your kid, I guess. She seems a little demanding, but I'm sure you'll be happy to make all her wishes come true. I wish for a pony. Now, now, now! Wait, no, I want you to be my pony. Give me a ride, pony. Do I have to? Yes, I'm afraid so. Give me up, horsey. I don't think she'll last long, honey. <laughs> I didn't know the magic wand could only be used for good. We were so worried. What would a fairy godmother do with evil powers? We're strictly wish granters and happy makers. Fairy godmother policy. Faster, faster! Not every recipient is as kind hearted as Cinderella. Well, now that we're not afraid anymore, let's have the dance contest. Woohoo! Woo Oh, okay, Longbow. Woohoo! Go, Dolph! <laughs> There's my girl, Little Mermaid. Oh, yeah. Having fun yet? Here, I don't want this magic wand anymore. Making people happy. Stinks. Well, okay. But I am gonna have to use it to render you powerless and unwicked for the rest of the night. I don't want you ruining the party. Fine, I don't care anymore. Just take it. <laughs> I hate sparkles. I love sparkles, yay! Now, let's get you up, horsey. I ain't your fairy godmother anymore, kid. Now scram. Mm, I don't think so, I like you. Now get up. The underwater ball was turning out to be a success. Apart from the sea witch, everyone was having a blast, even Unga and Greetsel. Mom, we met the most fabulous princes, and we're in L-U-V. That spells love. Please meet Prince Puff and Prince Bob, our true loves. I can't shake your hand. I have stingers, but a pleasure to meet you. Officially the best underwater ball I've ever been to. Isn't this the only underwater ball you've ever been to? Well, yes, but still, best time ever. And I don't even have to be home by midnight. And you still have both of your shoes. <gasps> Success. And hey, doll, the sea witch didn't turn you into a porpoise. Thank goodness. Isn't a porpoise almost the exact same as a dolphin? Don't get him started. There's only one thing left to do. Let's do the dolph, everybody. <laughs> love a happy ending where the evil sea witch doesn't successfully take over the world. <laughs> and I love these stories where fairy chill princesses team up and go on adventures. I wonder who will team up next. Hmm. <laughs> Subscribe so you don't miss it. Bye. See ya.